to serious English grammar. I want to devote this particular lesson to future. So, uh, as you know, there are several ways to describe your idea which is connected with future. Uh, the easiest and the most obvious way is just to use future tenses. Yeah, future simple, future continuous and so on. When you use an auxiliary verb, will. But that's the easiest way and not the only one, of course. I'm sure you know that. But let's revise this information. So the second way of using, uh, well, describing an idea, an action in the future is to use present simple. Uh, so usually uh, this uh, tense is used when in the meaning of future when you are talking about some plans. I go to the cinema tomorrow with my friend. So you are going to do that tomorrow. So you will go to the cinema tomorrow with your friend. But still, you can use present simple here. Now let's consider an example, actually two examples from the series. The first is going to be used with will, so future simple. And the second is going to be uh, with present, but in the meaning of future. Ah, gravity, thou art a heartless bitch. <laughs> you do understand that our efforts here will in no way increase the odds of you having sexual congress with this woman. Well, men do things for women without expecting sex. Yeah, those would be men who just had sex. <laughs> hey, I don't want to wait either. I'm just so close to getting out of my marriage. How close? Doreen and I meet with the lawyers tomorrow. Now, as long as she shows up in a good mood, we could wrap it up in no time. And the last, but certainly not the least, present continuous. Yeah, so not only present simple is used in the meaning of future, but present continuous too. And in fact, it's much more popular. For instance, we can say something like this. Um, I'm visiting my friend this evening. Yeah, so once again, you are going to do it in the evening. It's this action belongs to the future, but still you can use present continuous. And the second aspect here within present continuous is the phrase I'm going to. Actually, it means I'm, I plan to do something. And of course, this idea is connected with the future. I'm going to spend this year in the village. So. I plan this, yeah, so the action belongs to the future, actually, and uh, uh, the same meaning is going to be I will spend this new year in the village, although the phrase I'm going to is not so strict, yeah, you are just planning to do that and you are not 100% sure that it's going to happen. So, as usual, let's take a look at the example from the series. So, kids, would you like to hear the story of the time I went deaf? Why does he even ask? I know, he's just gonna tell us anyway. I sure am. It all began when Robin strolled into the bar and said, Say you're my bitch. I'm your bitch. Why this time? Because tonight, I am getting us all into... Okay. Okay? Awesome! What's going on? Did I just have a stroke? Okay is the name of a club. Yeah, it's supposed to be incredibly exclusive. Okay, that's basically it. Three uh, ways of expressing actions and ideas in future. So I hope that you learned some new stuff or at least revised some uh, grammatical issues. Well, don't forget to follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my groups. Uh, ask questions, keep in touch as usual. I really enjoy answering your questions and that you are interested in my project. So hope to see you soon. Happy English practice. Bye bye. that you learn, learn them.